pasta, le vongole, all'essenziale. Don't try that without proper training. All'essenziale means in the essential way. It was my father's vision to try to figure a way to cook shellfish, actually, for the matter, all sorts of fish, with a very basic essential flavoring that runs into it. In this particular case, what makes this pasta interesting is that instead of my usual style of sauteing the garlic, the red pepper flakes, we actually imbue the olive oil with the flavor of the garlic and the spiciness of the red pepper flakes, so that once we make the sauce, all that you have is the clams, the juices, and a little bit of additional liquid. This pasta is so simple that it is astonishingly great. And I've said, how about I show you how to make it? And it is in this olive oil where we will cook the clams. So the flavor that comes out, the personality of this dish, the secret of this essential taste is in the olive oil. And of course, fresh clams. When you add the clams to the hot oil, keep in mind that it would be best that you have drained the clams real well. As a matter of fact, one extra step that I do when I make it at home for myself is to kind of put them into a towel and just let them dry out. Because if you have too much water and the cold water hits the hot olive oil, it will be almost like a splattering explosion going everywhere. Is it going to ruin the flavor? No. But it makes it a lot safer and a lot easier to handle the clams this way. Notice that I place no salt and no pepper. Those clams are full of salt from the sea. The pepper, that flavoring, is given to it from what we add in the olive oil with the red pepper flakes. It is at this point that I like to add parsley. And you can use chicken stock or the water in which the pasta has cooked. I'm going to bring this to a boil and we're going to cook it until the clams are completely open. And why is this important? Inside the clams, trapped between the shell, there's an enormous amount of juice. This juice is at the essential part of the sauce. Now, this juice is basically, on its own, already full of salt, the salt of the ocean. As it meets with the olive oil and the infusion that we have with the garlic and the red pepper flakes, the sauce is opening up. As it cooks at the same time and reduces, most of the water evaporates, and what is left is the essential flavor. Now, you want to wait until all the clams have opened up. Those that have not opened up, those are the ones that you want to get rid of. You'll notice that some of them open faster than others, but wait until all of them have opened up. Give them a few moments, and if they don't open, it means that those clams actually are dead. They need to be getting rid of. If the clam does not open, it is not good to eat. As you can see, there's some late bloomers that always come in. I'm keeping an eye on these guys to see if they're resisting us, or, oh, look at this guy, he's ready to come to the party. This fella, most antisocial. So, you guys don't get to play with us. The next thing we're going to do, we are going to add our pasta. And we're gonna let the pasta finish cooking inside the sauce, the juices that's left over from the clams. I've undercooked the pasta. Just like I've done with many other pasta recipe, I cooked it beyond al dente. It needs, still needs two or three minutes. The reason why I've done that is because I want the pasta to pick up this flavor. I want this juice that you see right in here, not just to be on top of the pasta. I want this juice to be into every bite that you take. And then at that point you have, I don't know how to tell you this, it's this, this element, this joy of, of, it makes you feel great inside where the flavor of the pasta and the clam has become one. And it's in this essential rendition of pasta le vongole that I find this enormous happiness. First, because I'm in love with clams. Second, because by following this very simple technique, I'm able to bring out the very best of me. I believe that every dish that you make ultimately has an aspect of who you are, what you believe in, how you feel about the world, how you feel about life. And pasta with clams, I would say, is the flag of my passion, if I can say so. Plus, it reminds me of Cicero, specifically my dad. The pasta is absolutely perfect. I turn off the heat, let's plate it. There's something to be said about clams all'essenziale, vongole all'essenziale. Not only is it a trip back into my past, but it's also the understanding on how basic flavors come together through very simple techniques. What you bring out here is the essential of everything. 
I love these clams and the juice that pours down. This came right from the clams. There was nothing added except just a little bit of love. This, this is pasta with clams in its best possible fashion. 